good morning teachers today i'm going to show you how to create a google form for examination for this you need to use the google chrome browser like i'm using it here this is a google chrome browser open this google.com or google.co.in and from there you can search for this google form you can type here google form and press enter the next page you will see this link is coming on top the first option google forms free online service for personal use you can go for this create option also the next page you will see create beautiful forms for personal or business we'll be doing it for our personal mail id we'll be doing from personal mail id so we'll go for this personal section and go to google form The next thing what you have to do will take a blank form if we are creating a new one if we want to modify i'll show you that later so first thing what i am doing i'm taking a blank form just name the form like class 3 english language like this the next thing you will see the same name will come here but we'll change this to julian day school howra we'll give form description as first assessment or half yearly whatever question papers you are making will name it like that the right hand side we can give the total marks suppose 50 120 that's depends upon you the next thing what we have to do will before typing any question we'll go to the settings option here will have to make this as a quiz we'll go to this quiz page and make this as quiz if you are not making a quiz you cannot set individual marks for individual questions so first thing you can see also here assign points point value to questions that means you are assigning marks to every questions and allow auto marking so that can be auto marked also so we'll make this as a quiz now releasing marks how do you prefer do you want to prefer immediately after submission yes immediately students can see the marks after submission or you want to review it manually and release the score so we'll go for this option for subjective part and we'll go for this option if we are setting questions only mcqs there is no subjective question but if there are at least or any one subjective question we'll have to go for this letter after manual review since you have to check that subjective part now what respondents can see the students what they have missed after submission what is the correct answer and what marks they have got or what is the total marks given for that particular question the next thing you can see here later after manual review if you are choosing turn on email collection so uh, this option will get under general tab so since we have selected this one you can see this option is already checked this setting is required to release marks manually we are not giving response receipts for this you need to make limit to one response otherwise one student can give multiple responses if they are finishing fast suppose for a multiple choice question you are doing mcqs you are doing or in first assessment 
we are giving time for half an hour or 40 minutes whatever decided now the student finished giving the answers within 5 minutes or 10 minutes if you are not limiting to one response they can try multiple times so we'll limit it to one response and for this they have to sign in to their google account so i cannot type anything like xyz at gmail.com and just give the exam from there that xyz has to be a valid email id i cannot try with your email id since i don't know your password so that has to be my email id next thing respondents can edit after submit will not check this option will not give this option so once the paper is submitted means submitted we cannot make any changes after that see summary chart after see summary charts and text responses that you can give so they can see the progress also Okay, no. This will be for the summary charts and text text responses. What responses they have given? Now the next thing will be presentation. This is so progress part. So if there are different pages, if there are multiple pages, obviously there will be. So I can see how many pages are there in total, and how in which page currently I am. Shuffle question order you can do if you want. and since we have given it to limit to one response this option is inactive and if you have not given this one as i said they will get another chance to give response so that time this will be available on the screen submit another response so once this setting is done so i'm showing you again what all you have to do in general section collect email address and limit to one response you can so you can check this one or even if you don't check doesn't matter in presentation will show the progress bar under quiz this is the first thing you have to do make this as a quiz as i said earlier if you want automatic correction so immediately after each submission you can select this release marks if subjective will go for this later after manual review and respondents can see these three options so now save the form now you can see this option has come automatically they need to give a valid email address first thing now the second thing what we want they need to type their name otherwise we will not know who is giving the answer so students name and this will be a typing box so short answer will not give any marks obviously for this so we will leave this as it is but this section has to be a mandatory field so they cannot skip this page and just submit the answer this has to be a mandatory field to add new question we'll go to this plus option add questions next thing what we want the class again if you want you can give a drop down you can create a class list or let them type the answer in which class they are studying this also has to be a mandatory field third thing in which section they are in this also short answer you can create a drop down you can give a multiple choice thing from there they will select but i suggest give short answer option so it will be a less work for you also and required and the best thing is see i'll show you before creating before going to a, a new thing the next thing what we can do we can simply 
copy the pattern of the question what we have said just now so this pattern what we have said is name and they have to type something here and then it will be a mandatory field so they cannot skip this option so we'll just duplicate this thing we'll change it to class so we don't have to type everything or we don't have to set the pattern once again same thing we'll do once again here for this section so you can see this is a required field sort type and if it is a required field it will be like this mandatory asterisk marks will be there now just go for a preview of this page what you have made see it looks like this it is when showing you this field is required so all this mark with the asterisk field is required since we don't have any further page any more pages here it's showing me page one of one and giving me the submit option but by chance if you are going to submit this page without filling this it will show you like this this is a required question so without answering this they cannot go to the next page okay. now the next thing this will be our first page we'll create a new page where we'll put the questions so to put uh, make a new page we'll go to this last option sections so now this section 2 of 2 here we can give a question we can give our question what we want suppose this question is No, this is a section heading so what we can do choose the correct answer from a given options marks will be maybe if you are giving 10 questions i'll just show you with two questions here two two one two and two, two after this we'll add question from here now since i have given uh, this from the given answer by default this comes so we can give a question we can type a question i have the questions ready here so i'm just giving you the questions like this multiple choice question it will be and if multiple choice then we have to give different options so we can type the options here this typing is very simple you can do from your phone or computer or whatever you are using i have this ready so i'm just doing copy paste so you can do a copy paste also like this doesn't matter in which format you are getting this question so right now i'm doing it from excel you can do in, do it from word also and now after we give four options what we have to do we can see a correct answer we have to give a correct answer for this question what will be the correct answer so here this correct answer is this option two so now what we'll have to do we'll go to this answer key We'll select this option 2 over here and we have given one marks for this question so we'll go for this one point here and done so we are ready with this question and you can see what option you have selected as correct so if you feel something wrong then again you can go back here and you can select a different option these questions will not mandatory field because suppose i don't know the answer of the question if it is a mandatory field i will not be able to go to the next page until i answer this so we will not keep this as mandatory if they want they can leave the questions blank 
again adding one more question here adding questions is simply easy just go and click this plus symbol and we'll get this add questions this new thing will come next option is again same thing we'll do we'll just copy from one and paste it here second option third option since I am not the subject expert I am doing copy paste I have to look for the correct answer which one teacher has given and if you are setting the question paper all obviously you will know the correct answer so here the correct answer is option 1 so here you will go for this correct option option 1 and this marks will be 1 marks so done Now let's see how it looks like. Again we are going to preview. This is the first page. Now you can see this is the progress bar. We have two pages now. And we currently we are in page 1. And these fields are mandatory fields. So I have to give something like this. this question so for 10 so I'll just go for this class 10 now I gave my answer and I can submit it you can just submit it like this your response has been recorded see previous responses what response you have given So students can see this if you want, if you don't want, you can leave it also blank. Now as a teacher you need to release the score since we have done it manually otherwise it would, it would have come automatically there what we need to do we don't have any points for here so you can see the points we have given here and the points what they have got so, so there cannot be anything here it is showing this option is wrong the student has answered wrong question sorry wrong answer and this is the correct answer so they have not got any marks if the student has answered correct then this is the correct answer and it's in green this is in red means wrong answer if simply what you have to do is release score and student will get one mail, mail with his score Okay. this is the total marks of the question paper since we have given only two questions so two marks and the student has scored one marks so you can release score for all send email and release okay the next thing what we'll do we'll create more questions so i just i have already showed you how you can make a short answer text type of questions here so where students will have to write how you can give uh, multiple choice questions here now this multiple choice again you can change it to check boxes so just it will be like this box a different type so the difference between these two type is if there are multiple answers correct maybe more than one correct answers if there is only one correct answer we will give it like this buttons so these are called radio buttons where we can select only one option here but if it is not a radio button if uh, there are multiple correct answers so we have to give a button like this where we can select multiple responses so there 
you also need to give multiple correct answer next thing you can make it a drop down list also so all these options will be there but in a drop down format before that i'll just uh, remove this remove something just collect email address i'm changing it as of now so i don't have to type every time when i want to want to show you i'm just removing these options so it will come like if you now if you forget to make it as a mandatory field then what will happen they can skip this page and they can go to next page and just answer this now see if it is a drop down arrow it will be like this okay. if it is a radio button they will have to select like this drop down arrow they will have to select from this list now there are there is one more option i showed you what will be check boxes so check boxes if we make it then if we go for preview it will look like this so i can select multiple answers but here if you see i can select only one i cannot select multiple answers so if there are first and second options may be right so i'll not be able to select that option if we are giving a different button but if we are giving a button like this check boxes so we can select multiple options and then submit it okay. so these are the different options we have in google form and you can select as per your requirement so this is for the general question answers we can do now again i am creating a new section here untitled section so maybe there will be some subjective questions like this we have to give in the in this section so this section i am writing as mathematics and now adding questions here so in this section i cannot just copy and paste it like i showed you the earlier one since there are equations we cannot just simply do it like this so it will come like this and uh, it will not be the exact format format what you want now for this what we'll do we have one more option here called snipping tool it's available in all the computers or laptop and math questions obviously if you are doing for uh, math questions you are typing like this you will have, have to use a computer you cannot do it simply do it from the mobile so in snipping tool what we'll do so this is the snipping tool options we'll go for a new snip what we'll do is we'll select the part what we need it is copied and just save it wherever you want i'm saving it in desktop i'm giving the name as capture and jpeg file save it now the next thing what we have to do to import that question we'll go for this insert image option here this if you are not typing suppose you have written simplify and then you want the question to come or the image to come so we'll just go for this capture option sorry insert image option this is a insert image option so we'll go for this insert image option so insert image upload we'll do browse the file where you have saved it i have saved it in desktop so we go for this capture.jpg we can simply type the name or we can have to go and uh, select the file like this open so the file will be uploaded and we can easily see this here now this can be a multiple choice questions as it is given here 
so we can give the correct answer again the same way we did so we'll go for the new snipping tool and we'll go for a new snipping tool what we'll do we'll just copy this option like this this is done just replace the file doesn't matter you don't have to create many files together so what we'll do again the same way we'll go there browse select the same file since we have replaced so just type the name capture.jpg open this option will be inserted there so wherever you want to insert these options see the option has come now add option once again so once again i have to capture this option from here we'll go for this new new snipping tool select the second option save it replace the same file as i said earlier doesn't matter again come to google form this op thing but if you are inserting these images this you have to do one by one but still i would say rather than typing it in google form or doing a screen capture and crop the image from there this is much more easier again we can give answer key as i said earlier now suppose you want uh, no they will not give these options so what they will do they will simplify this and uh, they will do it on a paper and they are going to upload it as a file so i'm just removing these options now now the next thing what we can do we can go for this file upload option now if you are doing file upload students will be able to file upload the files to drive and files will be uploaded to the owner's google drive means the person or the teacher who is setting up the question so the option or the file will be uploaded to that person's google drive continue how many files you want to upload for this particular thing if you want any specific you want image or pdf or maybe a document file not but not any ppt any excel not any video not any audio so we can restrict it from this if you are selecting allow only specific file type if you don't want to select specific file type they will be able to upload all this type how many files you want them to upload for this particular question you can select the number of file up to 10 next what will be the maximum size of the file from 1 mb to 10 gb it can be so 1 mb may be if i have got a high end phone so that image resolution will not come within 1 mb obviously it will be a 10 mb file so the maximum resolution maximum file size what i would suggest will be a 10 mb and then like this we can continue now if there are multiple files like this or maybe multiple questions we will be obviously will be giving multiple questions like this so uploading a separate file for separate question will be difficult for students also as well as for teachers also it will be difficult to check so for this uh, what i thought will give a simple option like this upload image file of your answer in last page so what we'll do we are not giving any option to upload image here we'll make the last page to upload 
whatever they want to do so maybe there are 10 questions 20 questions so all they will be solving on their paper on their copy they will take a snap of it and then they will upload but on the last page not with individual thing if you are doing it with individual thing you can see if i go to my google drive now since i have made one here one folder will be created in my google drive and as many as options we are giving see class 3 english language file responses so against this form what i am making is named as class 3 english language so against this file responses whatever file responses i'll get i'll get inside this folder simplify the question and against this question the responses so again if you are giving another one if i am giving another question suppose this is the question so how we'll do i'll go for a new snipping tool i'll exp i'll take this i'll save it With the same file i'll just replace as i showed you earlier so there insert image upload browse then capture.jpg i'll select and open this question will be inserted now if i am making it again file upload so that processing is to create the file in my drive create the folder in my drive and we can see one more file responses have come one more folder have come here so if we are giving different different options like this so we'll have to look for these different folders who has responded there who has not responded there so that is a difficult thing for the teachers so to avoid this what i i would suggest we'll make one particular section only for file uploading and that will be a mandatory section so suppose they have answered all the questions and without file upload they have submitted the page so that is again will be a disadvantage or a fault from a, not fault I, that will be a disadvantage for the students since they will not be able to submit it once again so what i felt whatever responses will come inside this there will be one folder only and all the responses will come inside that folder for file uploading if it is a multiple choice we have already seen how it is going but for these things we have to do it with individual instead of individual file uploading we will do it as one file upload for all the questions so this is how you can make it you can make the question papers and again a preview if you want to see this is the first page now we have three pages this is the second page for english this is the third page for maths now the file uploading option will come like this upload image file of your answer in last page if we are giving like this uh, students will simply check this and go to the last page in last page there will be one option like this add file as i'm showing you with the question so but that will be a different page where you can instead of this question you can just type upload files for your questions 
so there we'll go for this upload add file option select files from your device whatever file you want to upload so we'll go for we'll go for this maybe new folder maybe this i want to do or this i want to upload so open add more files if you want open see now here we cannot do this why because we have given the option as we can upload only one file if you see here maximum number of files we have given one so if they have multiple pages so we can give up to 10 pages up to 10 images they can upload so now if we go we can upload more so i want to upload all this okay okay so we need to refresh the page take the effect this will be for the so objective part this and now since we have changed we have to refresh the page we can go for this we can upload all the images like this open so all the images are done and upload uploading one of seven like this all the images will be uploaded in owner's google drive and submit so I got these 7 pages from this student and this will come once we get the full thing yeah your response has been recorded so I can go to this okay. I can go to this drive folder can see see who has submitted I can see who has submitted all this so with my name you have got seven pages you just take those pages or you can select one by one and check whether it is correct or wrong and then you can release the score view scores in So if it is immediately after submission the student will see like this you can see the question over here whatever they have answered if it is correct or wrong what is the correct answer why they have not marked correct there why they have not got the point and since we have not given any option for or any answer for these things or sorry any marks for this so they will not be able to see this one so this will happen if you are selecting immediately after each submission so we will not do that one better for subjective thing we will go for this later after manual review and save this then they will not get that view score option what they have got this option will not be there if they are if it is manual score if it is automatic score they will be able to see the marks like this so whatever they have given correct answer, whatever they have given wrong answer, if we are teacher missed anything, now we have not given any score for this, so they will not see any score, otherwise this would have been there. So we have not set any score for this question, so it is not showing 0 of 0 point, otherwise it will, it will be showing like 0 of 5 points or 0 of 10 points or 0 of 2 points, like this it will come. So in this section it has come section wise also you can see what how they are performing okay. so this is how you need to make the question papers how you will correct the question paper the correction part of the answers so obviously you have to do for the 
subjective thing but autocorrect option I showed you how will you give the question marks for this we will not give any correct answer but we can give the marks like this for the subjective part for this also you can give uh, marks like this just give the marks and done then it is done again I am deleting this so I am able to show you something more now the next thing the timing of the examination this is how we will make the question papers with different options now how will you put the timing for the students now if I am giving it like this any time they can open and they can submit their response so one student has submitted to the question paper questions and gave it to the others give it to other students if different timing is there but if all are getting at the same time all have to attend at the same time now how will you set the quest time there set the timing will be using some add-ons this is why I am telling you to use the Chrome version Google Chrome version since this is a Google form will take help of the Google add-ons also in Mozilla you might not get the full function of this add-on so better if you use Google Chrome there are two things we will be using this control accepting responses and form limiter how to get these add-ons now go to this option these three dots over here go to this add-on now we'll see the google market like play store we get for the android mobiles in chrome also we have one market over here where we can get all the add-ons available and these add-ons are free we don't have to pay for it so this is g suit marketplace search apps which app you want two apps will be using one this form limiter it is showing you already installed because I have installed already so we can go for searching like this form limiter so this is the one search for it we will get this option go for it since I have already installed I am getting the uninstall option and you will get install option here once you have installed this we will get this in add-on in this area this is the place for installed add-on so we'll get this add-on over here we'll use one more add-on i'll show you both the add-ons how to use we'll use one more add-on that will be control accepting responses so here this is the add-on control accepting responses this also i have installed so here you can set the start and stop time the previous one what i showed you is only stop time now what is start and stop time if you go for the response you have seen that in the response section we can see all the responses what i am getting or what the student is responding now this form is accepting responses so every time i go for this preview i can see this form is accepting responses and i can type in this form now i want this accepting response will start within a specific time period this form will accept the response within a specific time period suppose we have exam from 9 to 11 so this form will start at 9 and stop at 11 automatically now what we can see here the form is accepting responses the next thing what we'll do we'll go to this add-on control accepting response settings and info now we'll set the timing for the form so we'll do this from 1240 
and up to it has to be more than one hour so i am taking 141 and save and implement so it will this form will start at 1240 now before coming to this you saw this form is accepting responses so we'll remove this delete current message and build a custom message so this is the custom message what form will show to the students save it back close now go see this form is not accepting responses and if you go for the preview you will see it like this it's already 1240 so the form will start respond start taking response soon see it's taking responses as soon as it is 1240 automatically this change to accepting responses and now you just refresh the page you will see it it is open now you will see this is already open now this form is open for giving the answers now i am going to show you the second add on how to use second add on what i said i will be using this form limiter so this form limiter once you click will set see this set limit so set limit will be use will be using only for stopping the responses so what we can do will select date and time limit type will be date and time when you want to stop the response today 12 pm 55 since it is already 50 now we will go for this 55 pm and set so we set the timing this message will come automatically there so you can select this or if you want to change something else you can type it here you will get an email once this form is stopping the responses now this form is accepting responses now so what we'll do after doing this now once we click on this response page we can see this uh, form is accepting responses now this message you can type as i said and just save and enable so at 12:55, this form will stop taking response automatically so i'll just pause the video for some time till it is 12:55, and then i'll show you what happens now you can see the time is already 12.54 I have changed the timing so if a student also doing the same thing we can see what happens suppose they are changing their system time and then what happens uh, they can get early access or not to the form that also will be able to see now so if they it is as per the system time this form should stop accepting response because it's already 1255 so let's see what happens just refresh the page so this form is still taking responses let's see how long it takes
as you can see still it is 1256 but still the form is accepting response that means it doesn't depend on your system time what you set it works with the actual internet time so I put it forward for 2 minutes that time so now it's 1257 and you can see the forms stopped taking responses so that 2 minutes doesn't have affect me if I have my exam from 9.30 or 9 if my if I set my computer time at 8 o'clock I set the time as 9 so I can get early access so that will not happen okay so like this will this form will stop accepting response and if we go for preview now we can see this form is no longer accepting responses so students after this time will not be able to submit their response so i hope this video will help you to create the question papers easily on google form so what we have seen how we can create a question paper here what settings we have to do before we start typing the questions from here we have to make this as a quiz we'll go for later after manual review this option to release the marks we can select what respondents can see what students can see and since we are doing this later after manual review we have to take their response email id where we can release their marks this form will be limit to one response so one student cannot attempt for multiple times students will not be able to edit after submit if you want you can check this if you don't want leave it blank doesn't matter in presentation we'll go for this option only so progress bar so they can see how many pages and they, they are in which pages or maybe how many questions are still left so they can see it on screen on the same screen where they are shuffle question order if you want to shuffle you can do and just save so after we do these things we'll go for this email address automatically it will come it will be a mandatory field this student name teachers uh, class and all and this will be a mandatory field now this uh, student name class and all all has to be mandatory so they cannot skip these options and go to the new page give their answer and submit so to go to a new page the next next section where the questions are it they have to fill up this page and next we can select different type of questions over here we can insert different images over here we can give different options to for them to answer and as i said we'll go for only one file upload option in the at the last so we can get it in the in one folder only in google drive now i'll show you the google drive how it comes see this uh, this is the one uh, what i made just now and this is the folder for the for it this is again uh, we have uh, another form what I have made so I just uh, I'll show you this also once we did it like this name class section everything is mandatory so see this uh, like this we can do this once so if it is a if they are writing please upload file on page 7 that is the last page so mathematics questions are there like this bengali also we can type like this from phone it's very easy and for hindi we can type hindi also and there will be a section this last section will be for the file uploading so we can give an instruction like this file upload for the answers so and there they can get all the files uploaded so the main question paper will be like this and the preview also I showed you the preview will be like this since this is a mandatory field I made for all these things so we have to fill up this 
and uh, for this question i think yeah this is not uh, taking responses so this form has stopped written taking responses so we will not be able to do this once uh, the time is up but uh, this one also will show the same thing because we also we set the timing for this also this form is not no longer taking responses or let me check once if i know this is not taking responses so we'll get this like this so that's all from my side if you still have any query you can obviously ask more questions thank you teachers